three, le three, le three lenses. How do you show three? Comment below. But anyways, after owning or using about 30 lenses in my lifetime, the three lenses I regret not buying sooner are two primes and one zoom lens. In this video, I want to tell you why I wish I bought these three lenses sooner. How do I use them? And throughout the video, I'm going to show you lots of photo examples. So stick around until the end. So the first lens is Sony 35mm f1.8 FE, which is a full frame lens, but can be also used on APS-C cameras like Sony a6000, for example, which will give you about 50 millimeter focal length. This is the most recent lens that I bought because I was quite skeptical about the focal length. I felt like it's too wide and didn't really fit my style where I shoot most of the things with 50 plus millimeter lenses. But once I made the leap of faith, oh boy, this lens, I think stays on my camera almost all the time. The 35 millimeter focal length is absolutely amazing once you get used to it. And this particular Sony 35 millimeter lens is very compact. It's well built, sharp, and has quite close focusing distance, which is so perfect for product photos, for close-ups, and obviously I use it the most for portrait photography, for lifestyle, as well as details in landscape photography. I also use this lens a lot for shooting videos and since I'm shooting on Sony a7 IV, when I shoot 4K at 60 frames per second, it actually zooms in to about 50 millimeter focal length, which is actually really great for those nice B-rolls. And therefore it's super versatile lens. And one last thing, this lens actually is dirt cheap considerably for what you get. I got this for about like $400 on Amazon. So definitely check out the link in the description to see if there's some sale or discount on, on this particular lens. I really love it. And if you are looking for same focal length, but for APC cameras, then I believe Sigma 23 millimeter F1.4 um, just recently came out and there's also Viltrox 23 millimeter F1.4. I made a video about it, check it out. It's a really nice lens. Moving on, lens number two, my oldest and very first prime lens, the Sony 85 millimeter F1.8, also FE for full frames. And if you pair it with an APS-C camera, it's gonna give you about 130 millimeters, which is quite hard to manage. I've made tons of videos using this lens, especially in street photography. But what I love the most about this lens is the versatility. I know it's far reaching lens and I thought I will only shoot portraits, but it turned out it offers so much more than that. I have used this lens mainly for landscape photography. I love the compression of 85 millimeters and the low light performance. It also captures details so well and makes the whole background blurry if that's what you're after. On top of that, I shoot a lot of B-rolls for my YouTube videos, as well as almost all of my thumbnails are made with this lens, but it is really hard to manage the lens on APS-C cameras, as I mentioned. 130 millimeter is just a bit too much, especially if you shoot videos. And this goes back to the a7 IV again. If you're shooting 4K 60, then shooting a video, this will zoom in to about 130 millimeters. A bit of a challenge. So the 85 millimeter is definitely not as versatile as the 35 millimeter lens, but nevertheless, it is rather compact. It is not too pricey super sharp in my opinion and i honestly cannot imagine any of my trips without this lens okay and lastly no more primes one solid all-around lens a do-it-all lens as i call it the sony 24 to 105 millimeter f4 oss g lens this lens is a real workhorse and if there would be just one lens i would get for my sony a7 IV this would be it and there are several reasons why this lens has an amazing reach from 24 millimeters on the wide end, which is wide enough for landscapes, architecture and lifestyles to all the way to 105 mil, which gives a real nice compression and telephoto capabilities. And now with high megapixel cameras, you can crop in almost as much as you need. On top of that, it also has optical steady stabilization, which is great for videos or low light photos. I was definitely not put off by the F4 because 
f4 is enough for full frame cameras it gives plenty of bokeh once you zoom in a bit it makes the subject stand out and things just look so nice with this lens i was considering the 24 to 70 for its sharpness and premium build quality but not only it was way more expensive heavier doesn't have oss and has less range the 24 to 105 is more than what I need in terms of its performance. So I feel like I'm not missing out on anything, even when I'm doing professional work. I'm super curious to know which are your three lenses you wish you bought sooner. Let me know down in the comments. I will catch you all in the next video very soon, but until then, keep on creating.